Hello, welcome to Drone Labs. Today we will learn how to update the firmware version of our drone into Beta Flight 4.5. I will show you the step by step guide how to do it. Before jumping to the video, please hit the subscribe button so that you will never miss any video. Thank you. In here, uh, we are using uh, the Beta Flight Configurator 10.10 and uh, then uh, we have to click the upgrade firmware now we choose our board our flight controller i'm using the number f722 flight controller and the 4.5.1 is available so i'm choosing this and the ready protocol as I am using the Express LRS, so I am using the CRSF protocol. And other options you can use if required. Default is enough for me. Now I have to click. We have to click the load firmware online. This will download the firmware in your PC and you can save it for a future i use i am saving it if you save this uh, then we have uh, no need to on, uh, uh, re-download from online then we can then using this file I click the flash firmware now the uh, processor will be erased and now it's bashing the new firmware it will take a few minutes it's done now we have to connect it You see the communication port showing and uh, this is the default warning message at first we have to calibrate the accelerometer now it's calibrated and for that there's the port tab here we uh, select the UR port serial RX1 for the receiver protocol and the UR2 is uh, in here uh, I'm using the GPS in UR2 and you would see uh, have the VTX for video transmission now uh, it is uh, save and reboot it after here I will disable the air mode Configuration in configuration tab, I, have to, I will disable the air mode uh, because uh, for inter flying in this uh, air mode will create problem. Because in, in inter flying, this air mode uh, may create some problem, so I will disable it. This is the uh, the power battery tab, reset tab, power and battery tab, reset tab, with tuning and the receiver. In receiver here, uh, you have to select the CRS set also. If you connect with the express LRS and uh, in next uh, video, I will discuss all the settings step by step here's the OSD we will set up it 
uh, video transmission for BTX. Uh, we configure this settings. The, if we want to control the LED strip, then the black box, and that's all for now. Thank you.